a piece that's comfortable for you that's made a bit of an effort. Or, yeah, we'll take no, not now, I've been early, I'm tired. I'm letting you take all the wind because I'm tired and you're doing all the work. So I've gone from running all year, running and running and running slow, so now the ultra marathons are done. I started running fast again, so I'm running three times a week, cycling three times a week, swimming three times a week and doing strength training three times a week. It sounds like a lot, but they're all really short sessions. I mean, maybe that's why I'm really tired then. That's why I'm so tired. I'm not training for anything, I'm just, just going back to kind of what I was doing before. Kim is all big ring all the time. Do you remember how last week I gave the van a nice service and it was running beautifully? Um, and it's already for his MOT, which is this Wednesday. Well, Kim's been driving it this week. And uh, a dreaded airbag light decided to come on. Look, 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 same bloody problem we have with the Peugeot. God, bloody Flash thing. off and then on again. Yeah, so I've got a uh, massive headache. So if you go to a VW garage and say, you do it, um, and they replace like, it's probably the airbag ECU or something like that. It's an easy five hundred pounds or more. I'm gonna. What I want to do is, I've been meaning to do this for ages. Is get a little tool so I can do the engine diagnostics, right? So you can check the error codes in the in the van and that sort of thing. And I haven't got a Windows laptop at the moment, um, so I thought I'd try one of the Bluetooth dongles and do it on Android and see what I can find out. <laughs> Good excuse to just test his new phone as well. Well, yeah. <laughs> The problem is for airbag codes and full sets of codes, you can't need like the full expensive pro gear. But you know what? You know what software bods are like. I like. And you did fate it by saying you're <sighs> bored this week. I'm not that bored. I could do that like, this challenge today. <laughs> I know you can't. Really do this. I fixed right, the door. Fixed the door, fixed the door. Are you sure it works? Can you get out? It's doing its thing. This was the death of our last car, which we had for like 16 years. So we, we have a history of keeping vehicles for a long time and looking after them. But the last one, again, the airbag light came on and we ended up, in fact, we got a garage to do it, a good garage, but replacing the, the ECU, the computer that controls the airbag and bits and bobs. And he did a really good job, but there seemed to be a problem in the wiring loom. So because the MOT now requires that if you have an airbag and safety systems built in, they should work, which is sensible. Um, it failed the MOT. We fixed it, it passed the MOT, a year later it failed again and we spent a bunch of money on it and then oh, that was it, game over. But it wasn't a simple thing, it was a hidden wiring issue. So I'm just hoping this one isn't, you know, same again. So if you're a car nerd, these little tools and all the cool apps you can get on your smartphone can give you a whole ton of cool information. And in fact on a lot of cars you can, you can tweak various settings and change all sorts of things and you can it's like uh, it's kind of like your Garmin on your bike. I'm having no luck. Trying lots of different apps, a lot of reading around. I know there are issues that I don't think it's going to work. I think this is going to be going to the garage. Uh, I guess we're not going to go climbing today then either. More boldly, I'll go for a run instead. All right, so I'm pissed off, but at least my day's not as bad as the person who left that streak of oil in the ground. Somebody's come down here, hit the sump on a rock or something, cracked it open, the oil's pissed out down the road, leaving them with no oil and a dry engine. That would have been a bad day. Timing of the thing, yeah, if it happened six months ago, you'd be like, oh, yeah, back lights come on. Oh, I better get that fixed. But freaking four days before the MOT. I mean, come on. As a scientist, I'm a strong believer in Sod's law. If it can go wrong, it will go wrong. But, so I'm in the woods shouting at a camera because that works, doesn't it? I think another point of this video is that, you know how on Instagram, 
and YouTube and vlogs and that. Everybody shows off, oh, I'm having a lovely time. Oh, I'm on the beach. And I just wanted to point out that sometimes life is a load of crap. And this isn't even a big problem. It's not a big problem. It's going to cost me a bundle of money. It's going to, it's just, anyway, if you noticed, I'm out of breath. So that's the other problem, isn't it? Is that I finished all my ultra marathons for the year. So while I've been excited all year, you know, a bit scared about doing these ultras, I had something to look forward to. And as usual, now I'm on, I'm on the downward slope after that of the. What's my next challenge? What do I do next? Well, I don't know. So I'm already a bit down because of that. Feeling a bit better because I'm out running. But the reason I'm out of breath is because I'm out now running faster again. I'm not running at ultra pace. I'm back to running at, you know, zone two efforts. And it's quite nice. It's that time of year again when the squirrel's getting really stupid. They're like taking lots of risks and running at you. Not running up trees anymore. I don't know what happens to their brains this time of year. See what I mean? The other big thing I've been doing this week, which we've just seen from the beginning of last week's video, is that I've switched from iPhone to Android. And the world has not ended. Who knew? Um, and I've been using iPhone, Android, Windows phone interchangeably for years, but iPhones would be my main phone. Um, I'm just pissed off again with Apple and their stupidly expensive stuff that isn't even that good. Um, I'm not doing the notch. But um, yeah, it all works fine. That said, if anybody sent me iMessages and I haven't replied, <laughs> they might have disappeared into the ether. I did what I was supposed to do, but I'm not entirely sure it worked properly. But. Pfft. What do you reckon? Does it look faster? It feels faster. Yeah, it's faster. Not, not actually proper fast where I was, but. Again. Yeah, right. Feeling a bit better now. Maybe I should have gone running first thing this morning. But the van was on my mind, so I did that first. <laughs> 